My name is Omonuse Himika. I'm from Ori here. Okay, celebrator. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay. Uh, the lady standing before you is a product of grace. Celebrate grace in the house. She came here shattered. She came here depressed. She will say that if you will tell somebody that, um, like as she is, that she will see the next day, she will not believe. But she came to FCDC, and God of FCDC showed her mercy and made her life so beautiful. Is she not beautiful this morning? Please celebrate God. And as you listen to our testimony, God will make your life beautiful as well in Jesus' name. Ma, please tell us what God of FCDC has done for you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, today, we make it one week and two days that I came here. Can you celebrate God Almighty? As she stand there to testify. You know, um, when I came, <laughs> I can't even explain, but... I just told God, all I need is just the solution to this situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, I was asked to come on Tuesday. And they put me on a program. So, I came on Tuesday for the Tuesday service. It all, it all started to play from that Tuesday service. You know, when the man was God of pain, you know, I felt a very strong pain here. But I couldn't explain what it was. But I'll come back to that. On Thursday, when we came here for the commanding the blood, yes, commanding the blood, you know, I started getting a different revelation of the blood of Jesus, the way I've not heard it before. So that night, since I was already placed on an assignment, I did the assignment, you know. But the devil started playing with my mind that I didn't do it well, but I refused to listen. So I came back into the house. I had this urge to pray. And normally before, you know, I'll be hearing this cry of a bed. You know, around seven. Normally, it's usually at the night. But since I started coming here, we hear it around seven. I said, what kind of sound is this? So after I prayed, I had this urge to pray more. I prayed into one o'clock, into one fifteen. So I went back to my room to sleep. But while I was going back to my room to sleep, the Spirit of God told me to look outside. I went to my window. I looked to the left to the right. I didn't see anything. But as I was about to turn, I heard a voice say, look well. And when I looked, close to the window, the tank is there. And you have this staircase, you climb up to the tank. And I saw a massive owl staring at me. I have never seen an owl before. It's only maybe in books, films. But this one was staring at me. Normally, I would have screamed. But I remembered what the man of God told us. He said, you ha as you take this communion, you have taken a new blood into you. And that blood, you command that blood to speak for you. And as soon as I saw it, I remembered. I began to speak to the owl. I began to speak words. I said, as you have come, I am in charge of this territory now. You have no business here. And the, 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 I noticed that the head of the owl began to swell. And the eyes were just going like this. I kept speaking. And immediately my spirit told me, where is your bullet proof? Where is your necklace? 
and immediately I held the necklace. It was on my neck. I was wearing it. And I just did like this. I said, the God of FCDC. Fire! Fire! And immediately the bed flew off and started like something that is drowning. Something that is ascending to crash. And I began to tell it, you will not survive this. You will not survive this. You will not come out of this. You will crash. You will die. And you will not go back to your body. I began to speak. And I saw it just going, 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 going down. So I stood. And I started praying. I was praying. I was looking at the, the, the distance it flew to. I was looking at it and looking at it. And I didn't see it again. And immediately, I went back and began to pray. I prayed till 2 o'clock that day. Excuse me, ma. Praise the Lord. Can you celebrate God of FCDC? She said, before now, when she looked at the window, she saw the owl, which is the second time. And she was confronting it without the bulletproof, the necklace. She was just speaking the word, telling the owl that I now represent the white blood. According to what the man of God taught us on Thursday about commanding the blood. Then she started speaking, but the owl was still looking, was still looking. Then she remembered. She said in course of interview that she remembered, now she know that the necklace carry power. Celebrate God of excellence. She now said she used the necklace to confront the owl. And immediately the owl started staggering like somebody that is under anointing. Starts staggering. And she confronts the owl more. And that was the end of the owl. Please celebrate this God. Celebrate. Hallelujah. Okay, Ma, continue. So back to what happened on Tuesday. You know, after everything happened, I came to church. I went to the altar to pray because we were asked to go to the altar to pray. While I was praying, I got into a trance and I saw myself standing and I saw my body on the floor while I was at the altar. And I was shocked that I was seeing my body while I was standing. And when I looked at my body, I saw that this part of my body was being wired. Like when you are in the hospital, when you are on drip, you know, they put it into your body. But this time around, it was wired like a circle pinned down. And I said, what is this? What is this? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. And I said, what is this? Immediately, I, I saw a hand while I was saying, oh, help me. Help me. I saw a hand trying to get to the roots of the wiring. And while the hand was trying to locate the source, immediately that pin was being opened and there was a flow. First of all, it was looking like urine coming out with so much force and then some white substance. And that is how everything started flowing, flowing, flowing out of me till it got to the end. And then that same hand began to take away the pins that were pinning the, 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 the wire around my body. And finally took it off and told me, you are free. Can you celebrate this girl? Before now, she had been feeling this pain. And she even gave it a name. Ma, what's the name you called it? Mozupo. 
She it can will call come, it cramp. It will come like a muzzle pole. It start moving on my body. And it takes the grace of God when it comes like that for me to control it. I need help to control it. What side, ma? Um, sometimes it will come from my ankle here. From my ankle here to okay. start moving. You will see it to just be moving up to my belly. When it gets to my belly, it start rumbling. Start rumbling. So I need, really need help to calm it down. So sometimes, you know, I just hit, hit, hit it for it to come down. So I, I actually saw that it's a cramp. But, you know, when I left that place, the Spirit of God told me, it is not cramp. It is something that they have placed in your body mm. to lock you up. Mm. But you are now free. Can you celebrate this God? I like the way she's doing it. Uh, Ma. And you said you were lying on the altar. Yes, I was lying. On your program on day. Yes. You were lying on the altar. Yes. Like I would tell everybody, you, you, you know that there's power in this altar. So when you lie down here, you are not just lying down. There's power here. And the hand came to lose that pin not only pin like what she said she saw it they wired her up from down to this point and they used you know when you see wire the amount of it something like um if you open the wire the, there's wire um iron inside is the iron that they now fold they fold this side and hook it together so that was the first thing they hand did started removing it and that was how she got her freedom please celebrate this god of sdc there is a power there is an angel that is doing operation in people's life and you uh, ma in course of interview you said you could not do some certain things yes before now yes. so what are those things you could not do before um you know when i first came to the altar when we started before now if I don't normally lie on the ground if I lie on the ground I need help to bring me up if there's no one there it's usually a struggle for me I will struggle to get to the edge you know to help myself up but I found out that after that I was able to lie down freely carry myself up you know i used to have some pains in this hand i found out that the hand is now flexible so can you do them now you know flexible i can't really do i can't really use this right hand before to touch my back but look at it now are you just watching i can zip my dress I, normally if i'm wearing a dress that has back zip Sometimes, if there's no one in the house, I'll have to go down using shawl to cover me to tell my neighbor, please, could you help me zip my, my dress? But now, look at the hand. Celebrate this God of first I can zip my dress. I can even Ma, put please, it for hours you, okay. at my back and I don't feel any pain anymore. Ma, please, can you turn around and do it again? Let the church see you. Like, face the altar. Let them see your hand. Okay, to the back to the back celebrate this god okay turn around ma thank you very much and you also said ma that while this pain was while you were still feeling this pain if you want to sleep you need the coverage yes okay you know because i was seeing this thing as muzzle pull i can't really stay in a place that is cold but you know after I had the encounter. I sat down there and the AC was blasting. I wasn't with really thick clothes. I was wearing something not really long. But I found out that I was just enjoying the AC. Celebrate the God of our CDC! You know, that, that coldness. That, if I'm there, that thing will just start. It will start from the ankle, you know, start grabbing me, grabbing me, taking, going upward. But there was nothing like that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Ma, you said something that, okay, how were things with you 
before coming to FCDC, aside this cramp thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I came here, I normally ask God questions. What is actually the problem? I don't know what the problem is. You know, before I came here that on Friday, Friday was the first time I was here last week. I'm always crying while people are sleeping. I got to a point where I cannot even pray anymore because it's like, I just hear the devil play with my mind. What are you living for? Just take your life, you know? And I keep hearing, there's this particular song I used to sing. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He has called up all things and he promised to do. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Can you celebrate God? He's able. Hallelujah. Whenever, whenever this song comes, I see hope. Um, I, I thank God that there's nothing, you know, the, I don't know a place where you just go and say, please give me poison. I want to drink poison. Let me just die. I don't know. Maybe I would have done that. But I tell you, when I came here and the man of God began to talk to me, I knew that God was hearing my prayers. Mm. I knew that God had a solution for me. And I went back telling myself, whatever it takes, I will do. I will follow this God because I knew, I know there is a solution for me. Mm. I will not die. But I will share my testimony to the world. Mm. Yes, I will not die. I will share my testimony to the world. And when I came on Tuesday, it was like a lifting up for mm. me. I just, I just began to feel happy again. Because all this while I wasn't happy. You know, I started having this feel of there is hope. The solution has come. And God began to tell me, your miracle has started. From that Tuesday that I came here, God told me, your miracle has started. It has started for you. Just believe. So, I just, I just want to thank God. You know, and I also want to thank my mother's friend who brought us here. God saw that I needed a quick response. Quick response. He saw I needed a quick response. And he used her as a mid of contact to, to reach out to my mother. And we came here. And I'm so glad to let you know I am alive. I feel lighter. I feel better. Don't mind my tears. It's just tears of joy. It's just tears of joy. I just, I just want to thank this great God. This great God of this great commission, FCDC. There is healing here. There is healing on this altar. You don't need to, 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 to wait for the man of God. Just come here and plead your cause. Just come here and tell God what he wants you to do. And when you come here, God will begin to open your eyes to see those things that you never thought you could see but God will open them to you only for you to see so that it becomes a testimony in your mouth that was what happened to me here yeah. praise the Lord hallelujah please celebrate God Almighty our God is still saying something there is hope believe there is hope like you've heard her said that she feel lighter she feels okay she no longer wants to take her life. 
God of FCDC is a God of restoration. And what he cannot do does not exist. So for the fact you are passing through one challenge or the other, and you are here, God of FCDC will do yours in Jesus' name. Ma, we celebrate that wonderful testimony, and we appreciate God for coming out. We want to thank you for taking a bold step to edify the church and to edify the world. To tell the people of the world that there is God in FCDC. We celebrate you. So what advice do you have for viewers all over the world and people seated here listening to you this morning? Praise the Lord. You know, um, there is power in the package. For those of you that have the package, from the bulletproof to the sand, you know, when you throw the sand, when you use the sand, you cause commotion in the realm of the spirits. When you use the saw, you cause commotion in the realm of the spirits. When you begin to study the book, it will begin to give you new revelations of the things that you don't know. When you, when you begin to settle your plea on the altar of God, God will begin to show you things. So get the package. And when you get the package, come to the altar and send it. Your, tell God your plea. And I tell you, you will come back with a testimony. Praise the Lord. Celebrate God Almighty. You've heard that. Appreciate how she goes back to her seat. Mouse